Mercury and oxygen form two compounds. One contains 96.2% mercury by mass, and the other contains 92.6% mercury by mass. Show how these data conform to the law of multiple proportions. So we'll say compound one, mercury, 96.2%. Compound two, mercury is 92.6%. Okay, so if we know that it's just mercury and oxygen in these two compounds, right, the opposite percentage must be the case for, yeah, so, sorry, 3.8% here, and 7.4% here. Right? So it didn't give us the mass total of each of these compounds. So we can just put any mass that we want to in there, okay? And as long as that mass is 96.2% mercury and 3.8% uh, oxygen, okay? So if we say that, well, there's 100 grams of compound one, then this 96.2% becomes 96.2 grams, right? Is everybody okay with that? And same thing happens there. Okay? We're also saying that there's 100 grams of compound two. So we'll do the same thing like that. Okay, so I wrote these in this way for a reason because it makes me, or reminds me that I want to divide one by the other once we get to the masses. Okay, so I like to divide the big one by the small one, like that. So let's see what we get. So 96.2 divided by 3.8 is 25, we'll just take it out to 3 for right now, 25.3, and 92.6 divided by 7.4. 12.5. So hopefully you can see, let's just take this 3 off of there. So 12.5 times 2 is 25, right? So what you can do is, it's a 2 to 1 ratio, yeah. So what you can do is take 25, so remember you all, I really like to put the bigger number on top most of the time, so let's just do that. 12.5. So when we do that, it gives us, we put it into our calculator, it's going to give us 2 like that. But remember, anything is over 1, right? So 2 to 1, right? Is that the ratio of two simple whole numbers? So do we need to write HG and O next to it, like 2 HGO? Oh, the job, no, just say compound one or compound two, it's not that big of a deal, you know? So, I think the more important thing is that you show that these two numbers divided by each other give you that simple whole number ratio. And then once you get that, then you can say, you can say, yeah, that checks off, that it does con conform to the law of multiple proportions. Any other questions on that one? Uh, just about significant figures for uh -huh. it'd be just... Yeah, I guess, so, uh, yeah, I guess it'd probably be best to, you know, if you wanted to think about significant figures at the end, right? So, here it's going to be two sig figs here, right? Two sig figs here, but... You know, just carry them out, you know, carry them out until the very end, two, two, and then if you really wanted to be correct. But again, it's going to be some, it's not always going to be to the zero, zero, you know, so just, just, try, just try to get them to these two. In this case, I guess what I'm really saying is that the significant figures don't matter in the last um, portion of the calculation, okay? Is that okay with everybody? And again, you're going to be seeing most of these as multiple choice questions. So 